September is World Alzheimer's Month. Studies show that more than 6 million Americans are living with the disease. Kelland's summer rotter shot takes us uh, up to Watertown to see how art from a South Dakota native is raising awareness about Alzheimer's. The Redland Art Center houses the paintings of one of the most famous artists in South Dakota history, Terry Redland. In 1977, he launched his career as a wildlife artist. However, that came to a halt when he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And he retired in 2007 because of that diagnosis and then unfortunately struggled with the disease for nine years. Redland's final painting, which took two years to finish, showed the effects of the disease. I also noticed the detail. So many of Terry Redland's paintings were very, very realistic. The detail in the wildlife, every little blade of grass, everything looked very, very real. And when I look at Evening on the Ice, to me it looks surrealistic. It looks almost like a fantasy. It's because of Redland's diagnosis that the Redland Art Center is working to raise awareness. Here is where the Watertown Memory Care Walk will take place tomorrow. And it's all in an effort to raise awareness for Alzheimer's. Along with the walk, there's another way to support local people affected by the disease. And the wine features Terry Redland's final painting, Evening on the Ice. What is very special about this wine is we only sell 100 bottles, so it's very limited. And $5 from every bottle is donated to the Watertown Alzheimer's Council. As we combine his story with the stories of so many people out there struggling with the disease, right, it helps us give this disease and this struggle that he had even more meaning. If his story can help others deal with their situation, that's what he would have wanted. In Watertown, Summer Ottershot, Kello Land News. The Watertown Memory Care Walk is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. at the Redland Arts Center. Now the Sioux Falls Walk to End Alzheimer's is September 16th at the Levitt.